What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 49 and today's topic will be how to create portrait and landscape orientation for your PDF file using report lab so there is a extra hint <laughs> sorry for the typo let me just fix this thing okay so first tutorial will be how to create portrait orientation with custom size in PDF file and next topic will be how to create landscape orientation and the next one will be how to create landscape orientation with custom size in PDF okay so let me just open the ID first okay so first of all from report lab dot PDF gen import canvas then from report lab dot leap dot page sizes import letter and landscape okay now uh, we'll import something else as well from report lab dot leap dot units import centimeter so let's define the PDF file object first this is going to be canvas dot canvas and we'll write this is going to be tutorial 49 dot pdf okay and we'll pdf dot translate is centimeter centimeter okay and then we'll write pdf dot draw centered string and this is going to be 30 comma 50 is going to be test uh, or kind of portrait orientation then we'll write pdf dot six so what does it mean it means by default uh, report lab canvas will give you portrait orientation PDF so if you run this thing say refresh now so this is the file if you see this is actually uh, what do you say this is actually portrait not uh, landscape so now if you want to customize the size of this thing how to do this thing for that you can write something let's write here mm pdf dot set uh, set page size and here you can write uh, I'm just thinking either you can write like this like 500 in landscape it means 500 and then 900 so let's try run this thing okay so probably it will be kind of this if I'm not wrong let's run this thing yes so this is the PDF file now okay let me just open it with Chrome cause this is uh, let me just open it from here so desktop then Eclipse then let me write this thing I'm just thinking report lab report lab python actually the name of the file mm, this one okay so So this is the file if you see this is the file in portrait so now let me just remove this thing and again try to uh, increase the this thing a bit let's say let's make it 400 okay so and again try to open this thing with Chrome see 
I hope you understand this width part is getting decrease okay again we can just make it a bit like 100 let's do it 100 okay and then try to again open it with Chrome see so this is kind of portrait using uh, custom size so our first tutorial part is completed so by default in report lab we will get only portrait uh, orientation but if you want to use some sort of custom feature you, you can use this using set base size okay so um, okay sorry I just put it the wrong place so it will be portrait here okay so that's it okay yeah that's all for this tutorial uh, uh, let me just move on to the next part which is going to be uh, create portrait p o r t r a i t orientation in pdf so what i'll do i'll just uh, well, uh, make it in a inside a comment block and after that i will create another thing so what is the next tutorial is all about create landscape orientation create landscape orientation okay so this thing okay so let's write this thing now so from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas okay then from report lab dot leap dot page sizes import letter and landscape next thing is from report lab dot leave dot units is centimeter then we'll define the pdf size object variable five of file object sorry going to be canvas dot and this is going to be two to tutorial 49.pdf okay and then pdf dot translate is going to be centimeter centimeter and then we'll create the pdf file size now so there are two ways of doing this thing one is from here you can just write page size equals to letter okay and after that just set pdf dot set page size and here you will write uh, landscape and inside that you will is letter okay and after that you just pdf dot save mm -hmm. pdf dot draw center string and we can write the same thing again is 30 50 landscape okay let's run this thing now so this is done so it is the new file so let me open it from here again see this is landscape now right but we are getting some sort of default size okay so we need to create a custom size we'll do that as well so before that let me just put this thing here okay okay the next tutorial is how to create the landscape orientation with custom size so for that what is required we need to just how to create landscape orientation with custom size so let me just copy paste this thing okay well let me write the whole thing here just copy paste this thing because I don't want to waste much time so 
will not do anything so what I'll do I'll just just put something like let's say width is going to be 750 and height is going to be 350 so that's it so our job done so we can okay so let's run this thing now okay it's completed so if I open this thing see we got this mm, like much uh, smaller in with respect to height this much smaller so if you want to create a bit bigger it is also possible let's create 950 and let's make it 450 let's see what is happened see it's increased automatically so you can see the change as well here as well so see it's here increased and here also it is increased so this is very simple thing you can create your custom size and other things as well uh, like the orientation depending on your requirement so what I'll do I'll just put this thing here okay so that's it so I hope you guys enjoying uh, the series and even this tutorial as well so hopefully we only uh, need four or five more tutorials and after that probably i can cover two or three examples or use cases and after that we are done with the report lab so this is pretty long tutorial series almost 49 so congratulations to all of you guys just there with for bearing with me and just uh, keep listening keep concentrating to our channel and videos and this is actually uh, really nice that you guys are supporting us for last six months we uploaded the first video for report lab in the month of july and this is all uh, almost end of january 2020 so thank you very much for the support and hope you will support me in the coming days as well because after report lab probably i'm going to start with uh, some machine learning series which is already promised uh, and pending since last four five months because i'm not getting much time because i thought that Neo 4G will be finished but Neo 4G and Report Lab is actually taking much time but now Report Lab is almost finished and Neo 4G is also will be finished within 2-3 weeks and after that will be completely with Rust and uh, machine learning series so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button share our videos with your family and friends and keep subscribing keep encouraging your friend to subscribe to our channel so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day